Hello everyone, my name is Madison and welcome back to another video here on the channel. It's been a little while, but I apologize for that. I don't really have an excuse. I mean, I can. I can make one. School, trying to fit languages in YouTube, felt the way I But we're not going to use an excuse. We're just going to say, hey, we're back and we have a Notion video. Now, Anna Lynx just posted a Notion video and that in no way has encouraged me to make this Notion video. Um, no, I'm kidding. I actually have wanted to do this for a while, but my Notion is something that I often forget to use, hence the reason I am making this video in the first place. This Notion template is not for somebody who is a Notion girl. It is a template for somebody who just uses Notion to track the languages they're learning and when they remember, they go on it um, because that is me. I, I always forget about it. I forget I have an account for Notion. I forget I have this amazing template and today I'm going to give you a tour around it because I really, really, really love the way it looks. Now, the last couple times I made a Notion video, which were these two videos, I used Anna Lynx's old, because she has a new one now, her old language learning template. And while I would love to get my hands on the copy of her newest Notion template, it would be a waste of $15. Why, you ask? Because it is too detailed for me who never uses Notion. So instead, I'll show you guys my Notion template, which is a mix of Notion's free language learning template and some of Anna Lynx's stuff has been thrown in here and then I made up the other stuff because I wanted to. So without further ado, welcome to the tour of my Notion template. Okay, so this is the homepage. As you guys can very well see, it is called Language Learning and that is it. Um, there's no fun title like Flying High with Languages like my other one. And it is very like neutral aside from the blaring blue that is the Spotify playlist I've attached to this one. Um, otherwise, it is very simplistic and it's neutral. And I love the color scheme of this one because there really isn't a color scheme and it just makes me so happy. So yeah, this is the homepage and this is basically all I ever use right here. And then there's a calendar because I, I want to use the calendar, but I don't. And um, let's just do the tour. <laughs> so I think we'll start the tour with the most important part of any Notion template that is used for language learning, and that is the language section. So this is the language section right here, or the focus tab. And it has all of the languages on it that I am currently studying or certainly do want to try and study in the future. I say try to study because I can start studying some of these languages and then decide that I actually don't like the act of learning them and poof, I won't be studying them anymore. But for right now, they're on here because these are kind of all the languages that I would love to reach very high levels in for multiple reasons and some of them I don't even have or like a good reason for at this time. But yeah, let me just tell you guys what they are. And as you guys can see, they all have a quote attached to them, which is something I love. I think it is very like personal because I like, I love reading. And so my favorite, like my, I, I, if I read a book and I love it and it has a quote in it that I love, I quote it all the time. Like Nikolai from uh, Siege and Storm, right, right up there. There, um, he says, if someone says impossible, they usually mean improbable. And every time somebody says that's impossible, I quote that because I love that quote. And it was my life motto. I mean, it was my life motto, but I lived by it, okay? I love that quote. Um, Nothing is impossible. So when I was trying to figure out what type of picture to put for my languages here on Notion, None of them were matching. None of the languages had a similar like color scheme or a theme to them because every language has a different like culture and community and a different uh, like 
country that they come from and a different like main central location and so none of them were matching and somehow I ended up deciding to do quotes so let me just do the quotes I have because I have a reason behind every quote every quote has a reason behind it it was picked for a purpose and I'm going to explain it to you because I think it's smart so we have the art of eye contact for ASL because if you don't know ASL is a very like facial emotions on like you wear your emotions during the language and conversation in conversations with that language so I thought that was very fitting because you know if you're mad you're like angry mad sad like you have to use facial expressions and you have to move your eyebrows and it's just a very it's a very like personal language I don't know really I don't really know how to explain it but I thought I saw that quote and I was like oh my gosh that's perfect because that is definitely what ASL is and then we have Swedish which is and then I met you because before I met Swedish I thought I could never learn another language because I hated the way school taught me Spanish so I so I had to use like a language app called Mango, which I would like to try using again for now by all my other languages because it's I get it with my job. It's a part of our library system. So I had to use that and I was like, well, let's just try Swedish and I fell in love with it. And because of that, I now want to be fluent in multiple languages. So without Swedish, without meeting Swedish, I would not be here making this video basically. And then we have French or Francais, and that is I think about you constantly because when the idea came to maybe learn French, it came hard and I could not forget about this language. I just started picturing what it would be like to be like in Lyon and speaking French and eating a whole bunch of bread and croissants and all of the good bakery food. And I started playing Hogwarts Legacy in French. So I basically, like, it's exactly what it says I thought about this language constantly and that is why I have done a lot more French Duolingo in the past couple of weeks than Swedish Duolingo or Russian Duolingo because I fell in love with this language and I definitely do want to I definitely see myself pursuing it in the future let's just say that and then we have Russian, which I love the quote for this because it's so fitting. It's, I disappear sometimes, it's my thing. Because Russian is not like a priority language, I'm basically dabbling in it for the first two quarters of this year while I get ASL and Swedish up to very comfortable levels. I would love to watch Bonus Familien in Swedish. So that is the goal before quarter three, which is when Russian moves to the forefront and it reappears before it disappears again uh, later on. So I thought that quote was fitting because while I do want to be able to read Vita Nostra in its original language before I die, I might very well be on my deathbed before that happens. So <laughs> we have Mandarin, which is what a plot twist you were because I have said constantly, in fact, I said in my video with Megan that a language I would never want to learn is Mandarin Chinese. I don't like the way it sounds yada 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 the political purposes behind it whatever but now I'm like I should probably put this on my list to one day attempt at least learning because political reasons <laughs> you never know you never know what's going to happen currently in this day and age so knowing Mandarin could be very very useful and that is why it's on this list it is not a language I will be learning anytime soon but I think I would like to one day attempt to learn it out of all of like that trifecta of Korean Japanese Mandarin Chi or just Chinese but mostly people go to Mandarin and not really Cantonese or any of the other thousands of dialects um this is the one that intrigues me the most Japanese would be fun but like no thank you I don't want to learn all those kanji uh I'd rather learn Mandarin um so I'm not for saying no to Japanese I would love to go to, to go to Japan but Mandarin 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 first okay and then we have Egypt, Egyptian Arabic but this could really be any dialect of Arabic because I obviously I'm not studying it right now so I don't really know what to what it would be and that is maybe I'm insane because 
have you seen what it looks like we're in? Have you looked at the alphabet? It looks like a literal like insanity, but I think it would be so freaking cool to learn. Like I also think it would be such, such a brag to be like, I know Arabic. I can fluently read Arabic. Ah, I just love the idea of that. And I would also love to watch this show on Netflix. Eventually, I don't know what dialect it is, but I would like to um, maybe be able to watch it in its na like in Arabic without subtitles one day, depending on what dialect it is. And obviously, Netflix could not exist by the time I get to learning Arabic to that high of a level. I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> that's why it's on here and also my uni is definitely like a very high like she she and I are going to be like Arab buddies who study Arabic together so I might start learning the alphabet sometime this year because uh, my uni wants to learn Arabic and I want to learn Arabic because I what they can be fun to brag. I also need to find a real reason to learn Arabic by the time I do get to this point because being able to brag that I speak Arabic and could read Arabic is not is not a good enough reason to learn the language. It will not keep me motivated. Okay, sorry, I had to change my battery and delete delete a lot of videos that I filmed that aren't going to be posted now because I had to read them. Anywho, the final language on this list is Italian. And as you guys can see, I don't have many romance languages on here that I actually do officially like want to study, but Italian is one that I definitely think I would like to at least like reach B1, B2 in because I do have I do have a reason and it's a better reason than Arabic, okay? It is the quote is for you I would because I, one of my dream, dream trips is to go to Italy and do the like 300 mile bike ride across Tuscany that Kara and Nate did like last summer I think is when they did it and to do that I would love to be able to speak a little bit of Italian because I want to be able to understand what people are saying around me at least a little bit, be able to realize when they're talking about me um, and not just not having any clue so that's why italian's on here because for you is referring to the bike ride i would as in i would learn the language or for you italian i would go do a 300 mile bike ride across tuscany haha <laughs> um if anybody wants to join me like hit me up it's not gonna happen for a long time but i'll keep you in mind you know what i mean i'll keep you in mind <laughs> Yeah, so those are all the languages that I do at this moment think I would love to learn to very high levels, like I previously said. Of course, this does not include any of the languages that I want to dabble in for whatever reasons. Georgian, I would love to learn the alphabet of because I think it's beautiful, and Kirsty Lamont from Days of Swedish and French for even bringing that language to my attention. Um, Indonesian, I think, would be so fun to just see what it's about because I've heard that there's no like like verb endings it's all just told like through the tense or like through the not the tense because that's a verb ending what is the word it's all told through just picked up on a conversation I can't think of the word but it's also very similar to how it is in ASL because there isn't like I worked I'm working it's just work so that is something I think would be really cool to like do a comparison on and I don't know there's there's just, like so many you know like I said Japanese I'm never gonna say no to I want to go to Japan and try their fish markets so <laughs> as you guys can see this is not all the languages I ever want to try dabbling in Duolingo has so many that I think would just be fun to kind of get to like to hear like Hindi maybe because again my uni you have encouraged that and yeah but this is all of them that at this moment I think I would like to become proficient in to say the to say the most and they all have a fun quote so uh challenging you guys the language you are studying right now i want you to assign a quote whether it be the way you feel about it or how you think it is like communicated like for asl the art of eye contact i think fits well because when you sign you use your eye contact to communicate so yeah and 
I think that'll be fun to see what all of you guys come up with. But we've been on this for way too long because of course we have. It's my video. Let's move on to further down this because this is not a super complex punt. There's, there's some stuff behind it, obviously. So I actually forgot to show you guys last night what is inside of these language gallery cards. So we'll click on Swedish, for example, and it has the family it's in, which I have romantic Scandinavian sign and then Slavic because those are like the only, the only ones I really have. Um, and then I have the proficiency, which this is what came with notions for a fun fact. The date started last studied and the days learning for that is the only thing I actually took and copied from Anna Lynx's page into here because I really wanted this learning for however many days section and I do not know how to get the formula for it so that is what I took from Anna Lynx and that is like the only thing um we have the current long-term goal which is to travel to Sweden maybe apply for an internship depending on how possible that is when the time comes. We have my favorite resources that I constantly use for Swedish, and I actually need to add one on here and make it Clothes Master because this is, oh, this is a new favorite of mine, and then I just have to change the color so that it matches that matches the rest of them and then we have the vocabulary and grammar point and section in this this is like something i really like about my notion template and i can't believe i forgot to show you guys this last night because we have the vocabulary section which i don't actually put like every vocab word i learn in here but as you guys can see i have two different sections right now and this is important harry potter vocab because i do want to read all the harry potter books in swedish and this is actually also in my french section because i want to do the same thing for french and then we have irregular verbs and we'll open up the vocabulary here this is for Harry Potter. So of course we have wizard, muggle, headmaster, but then I also found uh, the word for signs and street signs. Um, house, this is for like your house you live, like your house like Hufflepuff and all that. Broomstick, spell, wand, transfiguration. That kind of just has everything in it. When I find an example, I put it in here. If it's from Anki, I also click that. And if it's an N or Et word, obviously I have actually not gotten to these within the book, so I don't know what they are. Um, and I want to learn them in context, but I know that Huilten or Huilthar is a N word. So that is kind of what the vocab section looks like and then we have the grammar points and this is basically like I take notes on the grammar points that I do but this is where I would go for like a really quick rundown so I don't have to constantly scroll through or not scroll but like flip through my uh my notebooks so I don't know which of these like let's just do like difference in okay that one's not been filled out. Where's the one? Where's some that I filled out? Okay, I found one. It was the last one I looked at, but this is what it looks like when it's filled out. And as I get more plural pronouns or as I notice them, I will put them here. But for right now, we have era and ert and sin and sinna or sit is another one. And it just breaks down like when you use them in comparison to the other one. So when you use era or ert, it is your for plural and it's used when referring to something that belongs to two or more people but sin or sinna or sit is an, um when the subject of the sentence is performing the action on themselves or their own uh, own possessions so then there would be examples of each obviously i haven't included those um <laughs> of that there would be some there would be some and i have this key a key fact to keep in mind is that reflexive pronouns are pronouns that refer back to the subject of the sentence or clause in english they usually end in self or selves just so that if i ever i'm like i don't even know what a reflexive pronoun is because that keeps popping up when you're learning a language i have a little key note down here to remember so that's kind of what it looks like inside of these and they're all the same even a or asl actually has a different one because it's it looks like this so otherwise it all looks the exact same like 
this one doesn't even have anything but this is what it looks like when it's empty and when uh if you download this template you would click new and it has everything in here you just have to click the new language template and it will bring up it'll bring up everything for you to fill in for it so yeah back to back to what i filmed yesterday so below the languages, we have the track.toggle.com link, which is just a link to where I can track my time spent using and learning these languages. I often forget to like keep track of my time studying these languages, but I would really like to know how much time I put towards either language. So theoretically, I would use this. I haven't, but theoretically one day I will actually get to it. If you have a better app for learning languages, please tell me down below because I like I can't really find one for Android because I have an Android phone. I only find ones for like Apple and I ain't doing that. So that's if you have one better than toggle please tell me down below because right now this is only on my computer to keep track and i kind of forget about it so any uh let's go to the left side of the screen and let's go to the guide section this has my resources entertainment goals and travel ideas because i wanted a fourth I wanted a fourth row right here. So travel ideas I thought fit perfectly because that can kind of go along with the languages I want to learn. And then we have the, a clock because, because I needed something right here and the clock was nice and it also kind of matches the color scheme. The music section over here on Spotify ruins that, but the, we ignore that for aesthetic purposes. So let's go into the resources section of this page. And this is literally just a ginormous list. It's not even that big, honestly, but it is a list of resources for all of the languages that I just mentioned on my uh, focus page. And it does not matter like if I've studied them or not. I'm just, I just like to put languages and like resources in here so that if when I do eventually get ready to start studying that I have some resources to look through to kind of start learning and see what I like to learn with for that language. It has the language here, it has the name of the resource and my enjoyment of that because I just thought that'd be fun to add like how much I actually like the resource. Of course if I love the resource I remember the name of it but I just thought it'd be cool to kind of like compare like I like Duolingo better than Link which is funny because Link I, I had to buy a year subscription for and Duolingo has a free version so I just think that's fun you know and then we have the type of uh, learning resource it is the ones that I haven't used I obviously don't have anything down or like Clothes Master is when I started learning and using quite frequently um because i have a lifetime subscription to it now because they did they did a march madness sale i'm sorry if you guys missed it but maybe they'll do it again next year it was actually a really good sale and it has all of that i all of what i can do within that resource there and then of course there is the link this is very much so cut and dry it's a resources page you can sort it by language if you want somehow how do you do that Filter, okay, right. Uh, you can filter it by a language. So we'll filter it by Swedish because Swedish and ASL are my main priorities and my main focuses. So there you guys go. Um, these are my resources. I can't wait till I can use Radio Garden. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the entertainment tab. I have put, I had to decide like how I wanted to lay this out, but I actually quite like it. Uh, this is literally just... TV shows, movies, what is it? TV shows, movies, books, TV show, YouTube channels, podcasts, graphic novels, audiobooks, and video games that I can play with in whatever language for whatever purpose. So it has the title, the type of entertainment, the language it is in, the status, as you can see, a lot of these are not started, the date started, and then it actually will have like a date finished. Um, I'll click on it, end time whenever I do eventually finish it, and there will be like how long it took me, and then my rating out of five for the actual entertainment, not for how much I enjoy it, though they kind of go hand in hand, but for like, like if it's a television show, you know, it can be like a really good resource, but I'm only enjoying it like a four out of five star, 
or I love the movie, and it's a 5 out of 5 star. So that's what that is. And then, of course, there's a link to it and where you can find it. These are Swedish books that I'm excited to read, and I get those at a Swedish uh, online library. So, yes, I need to add some more books to here for Swedish. I got some stuff here for French. Not very much, because I'm not... I'm not, like, diving into Swedish. I'm just dabbling in it. That's kind of the same for Russian. Um, but Swedish, as you... Or French, I'm sorry. But Swedish, as you guys can see, is my main one because I am very excited to be able to do and, contain like, consume media in Swedish without, like, dying from it. You know what I mean? And then we have the goals page, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it just has, like, the goals, and it'll have, like, all of the years and this is kind of like the goals page for here. It's got quarter two, quarter four, quarter three. I said those in the wrong order. Quarter one, yeah, we don't talk about that because I was just kind of seeing how it laid out and obviously this is not a goal I'm going to have and I didn't start working on this until uh, Feb like the end of February. I started putting together this 2023 goals page so the tw quarter one goals aren't that good but I do have some for two for quarter three and quarter four I haven't really started working on the goals yet because we're nowhere near that but it exists I have my ideas down for that and the language it will be focused on so yeah this is the goals page um but we'll, you know that's not really we're not talking about that today because we're not talking about goals. Um, in my next video, we'll be talking about goals. So we'll see that more in depth. And then we have travel ideas, which this is a rough draft because basically I just wanted to put like this hit list down for the ones that I wanted to do. Money saved, packing list, current slash previous trips, gallery goes right there. And it just kind of will go down to to what's in it. So for hitting all of the Disney theme parks, I would theoretically have every single Disney theme park in this section with a to-do list and I would knock them off. I've only been to Disney World, I was going to go to Disneyland, but of course gave it, it, so I couldn't go. Um, but Euro Disney, would love to go to Euro Disney, um, Shanghai, you know, all that fun stuff. So as you guys can see, they kind of correlate to the languages. And then we'll go to the right side of this. We have very random stuff. We have a study buddy section just because I need something to fill the space. And who doesn't love to be reminded of the friends that they have? I got Sophie Von Ann and my uni. I'll leave both of their channels linked down below for you guys to go check them out. I love them. Mwah. And uh, then we have the weekly study plan, which is empty. I thought I had filled it out. I kid you not, but it's empty right now. And yeah, it's just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then you have the actual plan here and you would put, oh, here it is. Like the languages you're going to study and you can like open it up and then do what you, you can put what you did. I didn't do any of these on this day. Um, yeah. Why does you keep doing that? Go to today. Yeah, so I didn't do this. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible about planning out my week for language learning, especially with school. I just kind of do what I feel like and what I can fit in during the week. So I didn't do Swedish on Tuesdays and Wednesday. I actually might have done ASL on Tuesday, nothing on Wednesday. Thursday was at Swedish. And today is fr today's Friday. Hmm. And I'm doing Swedish tonight. So, yeah. Um, again, this is a theoretical thing that I would love to figure out and fix, but I'm terrible about remembering to check my notion and use my notion. So, it doesn't, we don't, we don't talk about it. Um, and then the final section here is the language learning apps tab, which again, is very much so in, like, it's in work. It's, it's, it's a work in progress because theoretically I would have the apps that I have and then the apps like my wish list and how much they cost to kind of like see, you know, what I have, what I use, what I don't like, what I haven't used yet. But this was mainly made so that I could put Clothes Master and I think Lingoda on here. Lingoda, not Lingoda. What's the one where they watch television shows? 
can't think of the name of it. But that's what this was mainly created for, was to put those on here and to keep in mind that I, like how much they cost, stuff like that. But I have Clothes Master now, so I don't know what this will be. I just don't want to get rid of it because the Spotify playlist and this, they're like almost exactly even. So I don't want to get rid of that. And then we have a Spotify playlist. And some people, a lot of people, when they have a Notion template and if they have a Spotify playlist on it, it's a, like a lo-fi study playlist. But I can't do those. I hate them. They drive me insane. I just don't like the way music list, like wordless music sounds. I just don't like it. So I have this. It's a pop Spotify playlist because I don't really listen to pop music. I listen to like country music um, whenever I do or I tend to listen to like Swedish music um, and stuff like that. Russian. Yes. So this I thought was good because I don't actually like listen to all of these songs. I might know some of the courses from edits but that's it. So whew. That is, my friends, the end of this Notion template tour. Jeez Louise, did it take a while. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked it. Tell me down below what was your favorite thing about my template. If you tell, don't forget, don't forget to tell me what quote you would associate with your language. If you need help finding quotes, go to Pinterest. That's where I got all of these images because I didn't want to make my own. So Pinterest came in right for that. And yeah, tell me, tell me, are you a Notion person or are you not a Notion person? Because as much as I would love to be a Notion and Anki person, I am not really one of those. Um, especially the Notion. I just, I keep forgetting it exists even though it's on like my bookmark tab when I open up the website, like the web Google page, DuckDuckGo is what it's called. That's what I use and I just... <laughs> I would love to be an ocean person. Men ya are in that. I'm not I'm, a, I'm not an ocean person and it's sad, but that's the honest truth. So, thank you so much for coming. If you want to tell me, just I don't know, just talk to me in the comment section. I love to read comments and yeah, so I said it was chaotic, but hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> Hopefully I don't come to regret this like I do my goals video over this year because so many people I watch on YouTube have watched it and they've commented and I'm like, no, please, I can't. Um, so hopefully I don't come to regret that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. I love you all so, so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Hey, Dua. Au revoir. Salut. Goodbye. Adios. Um, and don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Goodbye.